Are you worried about today's dire financial situation? Put simply, I would argue the Biden economic plan is working. The storms on Wall Street continue today after regulators seized the assets of Silicon Valley Bank, marking the largest bank failure since the 2008 financial crisis. Do you worry you'll have enough to pay your mortgage, pay your children's college tuition, enough to retire? I believe our banking system remains strong. Regional banks in focus once again today as the market digests the fallout of the First Republic failure. You have questions, we have answers. It's the Gold Standard with Ken Russo and Jennifer Horn. Oh, yes, it is. And welcome to another edition of the Gold Standard Radio Show. Ken Russo and Jennifer Horn back together again. Mm-hmm. Ken, looking so peachy over there. You yes. are just glowing. I'm ready to go. What You're- did Janet Yellen just say in that intro? Oh, she's- I believe our banking system is wrong. <laughs> You know what I'd say? You're a liar. You're a liar and yes. a dirty, dirty cheat is yes. what you are. I just thought you were basking in the glow of binomics. Ah, that's not working either, but we already know <laughs> that. I mean, you know, it's all it's all made up. Oh, uh, we it's got hilarious. a lot of funny money and funny politicians. But yes. we're going to talk about a lot, today, especially the banks. Is the banking system something that you can trust? Is it going to survive? And we're going to get to that this week on what the Gold does, uh, What's the name of this show? Is your bank going to survive? Probably that's not. a good question. Are any of us going if to survive? Anybody that's listening right now, is your bank going to survive? It's philosoph- It's philosophical. Possibly a lot of people never even had that thought. No, and that's that's right, because we always think just blindly that we can trust it. We throw our money in there. But really, is the banking system, is your bank going to survive? That's the serious topic that we're going to get to today on the show. 855-322-4653 is the number from Midas School Group. And Ken... Russo, we always start with kind of an overview of how we got to where we are today with our finances and the economy and the banking system and the inflation of the dollar. And it really started back in 1971 when old Richard Nixon, President Nixon, Mm -hmm. took us off the gold standard, right? Our money no longer backed by gold. Instead, just fiat currency. And here we are. Spend, 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 print, 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 and blow a big bubble. Am I on? (laughs) (laughs) Yes, Mr. President. Hello. <laughs> Four score and seven years ago, our fathers brought forth on this continent a new nation conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all money is printed out of thin air. <laughs> Wait, I, is that how that goes? Is that how the Gettysburg, <laughs> Gettysburg Address goes? I don't remember it being just like that. Yes. Well, that was Richard Nixon. Look, this is this what? is what he did, and here we are. Well, wrong speech. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, you know. What do we do now? He's been resting for a while. You know, we joke, but a lot of stuff in 1971 changed, Jen. Mm-hmm. That's when our system became completely fiat. Right. Our money was no longer backed by gold. You know, other countries couldn't convert their dollars anymore into gold. You know, United States citizens in 1971 are not even allowed to own gold. Crazy. Can you imagine that? No, I cannot imagine that. It's outrageous. So people have to ask themselves, not only is the value of their money money dwindling. Yes, Mm -hmm. the value of your money, people, is dwindling. Okay. We know it. Yes, it is. No matter what Biden says, no matter what Janet Yellen says, no matter what the Fed says, no matter what the New York Times says, yes, your money is dwindling. Mm-hmm. It's losing buying power. They're printing trillions and trillions of dollars out of thin air. Everything is debt. It's borrowed to in, in you know, it's borrowed forever. Right, infinity and beyond. That's right. Like that great philosophy. And that's exactly like where you. we're going. Yeah. So the question is is What's, what about the privacy and the safety of our money? Now, like you Do said at the any? beginning, yeah, we're supposed to be able to trust these institutions that are holding our money, mm-hmm. you know? You know the common criminals. We blindly trust them. That's the crazy part. Well, I think a lot of people, Jen, they just feel like, what else are we supposed to do? Right. I mean, I've had many clients that call and say, hey, listen, you know, what, what am I supposed to do? I mean, mm-hmm. I have my money at the bank. What... I said, well, listen, do you feel comfortable holding all of your money at the bank? No, I don't. Mm-hmm. Well, maybe this is what you may want to think about. And and that's kind of what this is about. And listen, this is not opinion. The banking system is not safe. And it's been on shaky ground for a while, right? It has. And it's been kind of on life support for a long time. Mm-hmm. And And if I look at my notes here, you'd be amazed over the last, I would say, three decades. Mm-hmm on all the names that they come up with 
to provide liquidity to the banking system. Right. And where does this liquidity come from? They just punch, you know, mouse uh, button, click m- mouse uh, keys, punch keys, uh, mouse clicked money uh, out of thin air, just digits on a screen that just magically appear. Mm-hmm. We had the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation Improvement Act of 1993. That sounds important. Then we had the Emergency Economic Stabilization Act of 2008. Then we had the overnight reverse repo program in 2013. Mm -hmm. Then we had the repo loan crisis of 2019. Then we had the primary dealer credit facility in 2020. Then we had the standing repo facility in 2021. Now we have, dun, dun, dun. Tell me. The bank term funding program, which started one year ago in March Mm -hmm. when those banks failed. Well, that program, Jen, ends on March 11th. 2024, it's which is up. two weeks or so from, from today. Right. So what's going to happen? Is there going to be a new program of, of printed money? Is there going to be some other excuse, some other event that happens where we say, well, we have to provide all this liquidity to the bank or else they're too big to fail? You know that that terminology, these banks are too big to fail. Right. Well, but that's what we're talking about. Yeah. And they do fail. And what happens when uh, that goes on? I mean, you shared with me, and I hadn't even heard about this, and I do talk radio for a living, and that is that six banks last year collapsed, and there are how many on the watch list? Well, there's a lot, yeah. and a lot of these banks are all still drowning in unrealized losses. What they call them is unrealized losses. So mm-hmm. if you have bonds on your balance sheet that are losing a lot of value, and if you have commercial real estate on your balance sheet that's half full and losing a lot of value. If people start to take their money out of these financial institutions in mass, like a like a bank run. Like there's a run on it, right? Yeah, right. But you don't have to show up at the bank like years ago, you know, bang on the on the glass, I want my money. All you have to do is go on your phone mm-hmm. and send it out to another bank on an app or whatever. It's click of a mouse. Everything is pretty much electronic when it comes to the banks. These banks become insolvent because they have to realize the losses that are on their balance sheet that are supposedly unrealized losses. Mm -hmm. But when they have to realize them, that's when it gets very real. And the scary part is that these banks that have the most unrealized losses, these are also the same institutions that have control of the most of the financial derivatives. Right. And you're talking about names like JP Morgan Chase. You're talking about Citibank. Goldman Sachs, Bank of America, Morgan Stanley. Believe it or not, these banks control 83% of all of the U.S. bank financial derivatives. That's pretty frightening. So you have the most riskiest banks that, that are holding the majority of the deposits. It makes no sense, but mm-hmm. that's the situation that we're in today. So when clients call me and they say, hey, listen, I'm not comfortable I don't even know if my money's going to be at the bank tomorrow when I'm going to need it. And I would say, well, listen, none of us hope that that's going to be the situation. Sure. But based on what we've seen in the past and what these banks, the situation that they're in today, when we deposit our money at the bank, Jen, technically, legally, Mm -hmm. it's not our money anymore. It becomes the property of the bank. All we have is a claim. Yeah, we have a receipt. That's it. Pretty scary stuff, but there is some good news. There is a silver lining and there is something that you can do and you can use, take a portion of your assets out of the banking system, pull it away from that system, which is flawed to say the least, and put it into gold and precious metals. You can do that with Midas Gold Group. They are veteran owned. They are America First Patriots. They are people that you can call and talk to. You'll know their names. You'll get options on what might work best for you. And you can do that at 855-322-GOLD. 855-322-4653. One more time, 855-322-4653. You can text the word gold to 232425. Midas gets right back to you. You can always go online, MidasGoldGroup.com. And the great thing is, when can you actually go face-to-face and talk to someone about your finances? Not usually, but with Midas, if you're in California, you can go see them in Thousand Oaks. If you're in Arizona, you go see them in Phoenix. Yeah, and a lot of these bank branches are closing too, Jen. Well, that's part of the thing. You can't, I mean, I told you, and I shared this with you a few months ago, my local branch and big, let's say it's a big bank that rhymes with Schmake of America. Uh, mm, I know that one. You know that one? Yes. 
totally closed down. My local branch, gone. That doesn't mean I can't access my money, but it sure means that I can't walk in and do my business like I used to. That tells me that there's a movement to make these banks cashless. That tells me that they want you to use the ATM machine, which is obviously, Mm -hmm. you know, no help when it comes to cash. It tells me that they want you to go on the internet or use an app on your phone, which everything is, everything could be shared. That information could be shared. We all know that these banks, the one you mentioned, shared credit card and bank information on the January 6th protesters with the government without their permission. So- The privacy at these banks is definitely nil. Mm -hmm. The safety of these banks is in question because of the loss situation that you and I talked about. A lot of people over the last year have been pulling a lot of deposits out of these banks. I think they said that JP Morgan Chase lost a quarter of a trillion dollars in deposits over the last seven quarters. Um. This is a a bad situation because in my opinion, Jen, if one bank starts an avalanche, who knows what kind of destruction that that's going to cause. It's going to be a a chain effect. So when it comes to the safety of your money and when it comes to the transparency of these financial institutions, and then when you mix in the risk of the derivatives, I mean, we are in a bubble, people. I mean, I hope America understands that we're in another Fed-created bubble. Mm -hmm. When this all bursts and a bank crisis could be the trigger for all of that, this is going to get real nasty, Jen. And the ability for us to move our money out of the banks at that time or the ability to move money from our IRA or an old 401k is going to be very difficult. Or the banks may even say, hey, listen, we're going to have to limit the amount of money that you can pull out of the bank in any given time period, we can't do it because let's face it, the money's not there. Right. It's not real. It's not tangible at this point. So protect yourself, protect the money that you've worked very hard to earn, take it out of the banking system, a portion of it, keep it in gold and precious metals. This gives you safety, security, privacy, and a hedge against not only inflation, but also the the possibility that this bubble bursts. Be protected with gold and silver from Midas Gold Group 855-322-4653, 855-322-4653. gold You can text the word GOLD to 232425 and always check out the website, MidasGoldGroup.com. That's MidasGoldGroup.com. There's more up ahead. It's a Gold Standard Radio Show with Ken Russo and Jennifer Horn. Dr. Gorka here. You're listening to The Gold Standard with your hosts, Ken Russo from veteran-owned Midas Gold Group and Jennifer Horn. Owning private money in the form of physical gold and silver is perhaps more important than ever to your long-term financial security. As U.S. banks fail, the Biden administration sends hundreds of billions abroad while depleting our strategic oil reserves. However, the biggest financial threat may be coming from within central bank digital currency. The patents have been filed and the big banks have released plans for implementation. Midas Gold Group sees tyrannical implications, the end of cash, the end of financial privacy, big government able to see your every purchase. Could there be ties to social credit? Hear more commentary on the political and economic issues that affect your financial security right here on the Gold Standard. You can create your own Gold Standard with a call to Midas Gold Group, 855-322-GOLD. That's 855 855- 322-4653 MidasGoldGroup.com Welcome back. It is a Gold Standard Radio Show. Ken Russo and Jennifer Horn back together again. Thank you all for joining us. We appreciate you. And, you know, Ken, one of the things that I think I was, um, well, there's a lot that I was naive about when it comes to finances, something that you have taught me about, and that is you know, the great promise of FDIC insured. The FDIC, they're going to mm-hmm. take care of everything. If you The inv- holy grail. It's the holy... I'm not kidding. Yeah. I had, somebody pitching me life insurance and they, I said, is it FDIC insured? They said, no. I said, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing... But there's not really a lot of faith to be had in the FDIC, right? 
Yeah, and you want to know what's – Well, it. first of all, it's about as federal as Federal Express. Okay. Okay, it's a <laughs> private insurance corporation. I like that analogy. Yes. <laughs> Second of all, people are appalled when they hear that their mutual funds and their investments, investment vehicles from the bank, mm -hmm. they're not FDIC insured. Right. Okay? When it comes to your savings, checking, and other certain types of accounts – the FDIC insurance is supposed to be there in case the bank goes down, mm -hmm. we're going to be refunded our deposits or our balance right. up to a certain amount. They say it's up to $250,000 per account. Mm -hmm. It's a sham, Jen. Yeah. And it's, this a, it's, is, it's, 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 it makes no sense. You but, wrecked my worldview when you told me this. Yeah. <laughs> now, let's just go over the numbers. Now, you remember you and I listened mm -hmm. to an FDIC board meeting from November of 2022. Board being the key word. Yes. And <laughs> these guys, they said, literally, it's best that the public really doesn't know what's going on. Of course. That's what the government says, too, by the way. Now- I mean, I, I just don't know how people don't take this as just being outrageous. Oh, it's scary. insulting and ridiculous. And the fact that they know better than the average person and that they should hide things from us is extremely insulting and dangerous. The board member literally said, but I would be careful about the unintended consequences of starting to blast too much of this out in the general public. <laughs> That's what he said. For all those dopes to get a hold of and run yeah. around with. Be like, oh, well, maybe these people would actually want to come and take their money out. Yeah. You know, so, oh. The FDIC has about $120 billion worth of assets on their balance sheet. Mm -hmm. They say that there's anywhere from about 8 to $12 trillion of uninsured deposits that exist at these banks, the majority of them being at the, the large banks. Sure. You're a smart lady. Every once in a while. Does 120 billion sound a little bit less than eight to 10 tr uh, trillion? I would say so, yes. It doesn't Just make slightly. any sense. Yeah. So it's kind of like if you're driving a, a, a $200,000 sports car, but you have $10,000 worth of insurance on, on the car. Kia. Right. You've got Kia it's, insurance for your big car. It just doesn't work. Now, if people really knew this, mm -hmm. and if they really knew that the banking system is on a fractional you know, banking system, which means that for every $10 that we deposit, the bank only is required to keep one. Right. And they could loan out and they can invest the other nine and create more money out of thin air and create more loans. And people would be appalled, mm -hmm. you know, if they really, really understood that if they went to the bank and they said, I'd like to take all of my money out, they're either going to say more than likely, well, first of all, what do you need it for? Yeah. So many clients have told me that. And they said, what do you mean? What do I need it for? It's my, it's money. my money. Yeah. The other thing they would say is if you want it in cash, um, can you come back in a few weeks? We possibly don't have that kind of amount on hand or in the vault. They may also say that if you pull out some cash, we're going to have to fill out a, a suspicious report on yeah. you. If you take out more than $10,000, or put in more than $10,000 in cash. You're flagged. Yeah, you're flagged as a possible criminal. Who knows what kind of political affiliation you have, how mm -hmm. the bank's going to feel about that. Who knows what kind of religious affiliation you have. Who knows how they're going to feel about that. Mm -hmm. There's lots of stuff that these people have too much control over what's ours. When it, we're blindly trusting them to hold on to what's ours, right? This is supposed to be better than the mattress. For what? A few a few percentage points that's not if even keeping up with inflation anyway. Mm -hmm. If you have money at the bank and you're and you're making four or five percent, but inflation is ten, and don't let these numbers that they're telling you fool you. You know, I I saw something the other day where they said that the uh, uh, inflation numbers are going down. They're actually getting hotter. Where? Well, they <laughs> took out food. They took out uh, energy. That's how they do it. And they, they took it. out uh, living expenses. Oh. So I guess if you're homeless and you uh, don't want to eat and you're not going to drive anywhere, I guess that these numbers are, are relevant. You're golden. Be beyond that, they're not relevant. It makes no sense. All it is is a, a spin to support a certain agenda. The fact of the matter is, folks, uh, inflation will rear its ugly head again. It's not under control. No, the spending um, continues. The money printing continues. It's not going to go away. It's going to accelerate. What happens when we have a recession? Mm -hmm. 
the Federal Reserve is going to automatically start to print more money at, at historical rates. The government is not going to stop spending. They can't because it's a whole system that's addicted to this spending and it's addicted to debt. And all of these banks and financial institutions, which control all of these financial derivatives, mm -hmm. which they use to invest, they mostly use them to try and rig the markets, they're going to blow up. So the safety of our money, it's in question. It's just a fact. So I don't know if this is all going to fall apart in a week from now, if it's going to fall apart in a year from now, but the first bank, Jen, mm -hmm. big or small, that actually takes people's deposits and does a bail-in, people are going to freak out. Oh, I bet you're right. And they're going to try to move their assets out quickly. They're going to try to move their assets out, they're pull their cash out, and they're not going to be able to. So I'm just telling people right now, prepare. You're going to be at a big advantage if, if you hold some of your wealth, you know, preserve it in something that's going to hold its value, something that you can control. It's going to be a lot better than having all of your assets mm -hmm. tied up to a sick, dying system that's on life support. And the only thing that's supporting these banks and the system itself is just more debt and more printed money. Yeah. And it's just a matter of time before it all falls apart. 855-322-4653 is the number to call Midas Gold Group, 855-322-GOLD or MidasGoldGroup.com. You can also text the word GOLD to 232425. Midas gets right back to you. And we always love to mention, because it doesn't happen very often, if you like to do your transactions like this in person, go to see them face-to-face, -face, Thousand Oaks in California, Phoenix in the state of Arizona. And Ken, I really think it's something to underscore here because- Many people who are listening right now have probably started to question the blind trust we used to have in the government, in the government institutions, our politicians. There are a lot of people who are having this awakening, if you will, that maybe they don't always have our best interest at heart. And that's the awakening I had several years ago. And now, after talking to you and spending some time looking at the banking system and seeing that our money isn't just sitting in there locked up in the vault, it's being used for the purpose of big banks being used for their initiatives, for their programs, not for our well-being. When the FDIC, which we blindly trust to insure our money, is not going to be there at the levels that we need it, you have to do something and you have to take personal responsibility. You have to take your freedom back from the government, from the big banks. And gold and silver is a really good way to do that. Yeah. I've had people that have come into the office, Jen, <laughs> with letters from IndyMac Bank that failed like 15 years ago. Mm -hmm. And the people have never seen the money that the bank kept. They still, to Never. this day, all they gave them was an IOU. They gave them a certificate and literally said, this is what you have versus what you used to have mm -hmm. at the bank. They're never going to hear from anyone regarding that stuff. For people to believe that that's not going to happen going forward is going to be a very bad, costly mistake mm -hmm. to make. So we're talking about your savings. We're talking about a nest egg. We're talking about you know what you've tried to work hard, do the right thing. It would be a real shame to just see it disappear. We all know that we have a desperate government. We all know that the banking system is desperate. These people are on the last stage of trying to hold this whole thing together. Sure. They, they know that it's slipping away. I'm just very, very scared and afraid of who the villain's going to be, who are they going to blame it on, how quickly it could happen. So you have to try and make some moves, try to hedge your bets, try to give yourself the opportunity to financially survive no matter what. Because if the system crashes on its own, if it crashes on purpose, mm -hmm. just due to large numbers, you know no matter what, you'll at least have that gold and you'll at least have that silver. And based on thousands of years, we always know that's at least going to be worth something. Absolutely. And I would add in one thing, and that's also the privacy that gold and silver brings to you. It takes it out of the hands of the big banks. The government can't track this. It is a private transaction. And so that's why we tell you this week, if you've been thinking about it, if you've been thinking for the first time about adding gold and precious metals to your portfolio, well, do it. 855-322-4653. That's 855-322-GOLD. You can also check out Midas Gold Group at MidasGoldGroup.com. That's MidasGoldGroup.com. You can text the word GOLD to 232425. And if you're looking for a new buyer, maybe you don't like it this current person you're working with yeah these are real people america first patriots 855-322-GOLD or midasgoldgroup.com yeah veteran owned jen we're yeah. privileged to take care of people you can trust us you're in good hands 
No sense. Let's start a conversation. Absolutely. Do it today. Do it this week. 855-322-GOLD. Thanks for joining us. It's the Gold Standard Radio Show with Ken Russo and Jennifer Horn.